guys, what's up? Um, this is uh, part two on reloading 357 Magnums on my Lee Press. Um, this is my uh, hand priming tool from Lee. Makes things a lot simpler than on the press itself because you got to handle each one of these one time, put it on the thing, and then put it in your. Uh, the primer holder then uh, crank the ram rod down instead of going up and then it seats the primer. It takes three times as long than doing it this way. So here's this real quick. Is it where everything, you can barely see it? Line it up. And carefully get your primer then the holder. Make sure everything's facing up. And you want the solid part down and you want to see the red in the primers. It takes forever to get everything oriented the way it should be, but hey. Welcome to the joys of reloading. This is the things people don't show you. I'm not going to try to make this video a thousand minutes long either because once again, you're going to be doing the same thing for X amount of time. So once you get everything looking kind of like, man, I like sucks. Now. That would have been bad. All right. Now that I kind of got the light better, get everything like that, and then put your cover on once everything's the way you want. Now, I don't know how well it's going to show up because it's gray outside. I haven't seen the sun in three days in Indiana. You want to shake everything where everything is aligned with this tray insert here. Insert shell casing in here. Now, your first primer is not going, yeah, there won't be anything in it. It's going to be empty. So close it like this, let it out, and then you'll feel a slight pressure and let off. And voila, you have a primer. But just make sure you hold everything at a 45 degree angle or it won't work right. I don't know how well you can see it. Probably not. But there's a primer in there. And then hold it at a 45 degree angle press and there's your primer. Now one thing uh, you do want to be careful about primers can may and will go off if you will and if it does go off inside the shell casing itself the pressure is enough to break glass if you're close enough like this camera that's why I'm kind of pointing everything away but uh, only thing you want to be careful of is if you feel something's not right it probably isn't. If it doesn't feel smooth, uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass. You gotta take all this out, especially when a primer gets stuck in here. When one gets sideways for some unknown reason, happens. Um, you just gotta take this plate off, undo all your brass, and then this pushes down and then this plate comes off. Just like that. And make sure if uh, you're doing this with your friends or whatever, make sure like you don't point this part at anybody or anything because if that primer goes off, shit will happen. I don't know the extent, but I've heard stories and I'm not about to try it for myself either. Now here we go. See, like that. 
all it takes is something to go sideways and off you go. Then you gotta shake this sometimes and then sometimes the plastic wants to pop off. Like I said, this was in the kit that I bought. It's not the best, but hey, it, it works. Now, uh, once again, once you get everything fixed. And they're working right. For the most part, it works. Sometimes you gotta redo. Oh, well, here we go. Now that everything's working smooth again.
wasted all y'all's time. Um, but that's basically the gist of putting primers back in and showcasing. And just be super careful. Wear eye protection. Don't point it at no one. Or anything. Animal, glass, whatever the hell. You do not want to be destroyed. Don't point when you're doing this. It, it's not real likely, but it could happen. Because shit happens. I just don't want you know, things exploding. So just keep your showcasing pointed away from everything. And other than that, you should be safe. Hope you like it, and I uh, hope this uh, brings an insight in the wonderful world of reloading. Keep it brutal, and I'll catch you guys on the next Slayers channel.